Hi there, my name is Anita and this is my sewing channel, Sewing Yogi. Um, I am here today to share with you my makes for September and October. And thank you if you are a subscriber and you have come back to me. You probably can't even remember who I am that or that I even exist because I've been away for so long. Um, but I am back to share with you what I have made. Um, I have been away. I was ill in October. I ended up getting COVID, which was so unfortunate because I just started my new job and I was gutted. And yeah, it really did um, take the wind out of my sails. I was very unwell, but fortunately I am on the mend now. I think I only really started to feel better yesterday, actually. I started to feel like I had more energy. I've got really bad, what well, I had really bad fatigue after all the um, all the other symptoms of having COVID. I think I pretty much had all of the symptoms apart from the tight chest and the breathing difficulties. That was the only one I didn't have. But everything else I had, um, so yeah, I was in bed for a whole week. I think I had COVID for about 10 days in the end. And yeah, it really knocked me for six. So um, slowly, slowly getting better. Unfortunately, I still can't taste anything or, or smell anything. Um, it's slowly coming back. I am starting to smell and taste more things very, very gradually, but I am really gutted about this because I really love eating and I love food. So at the moment, food is just really boring and everything just tastes really bland. So anyway, um, and what else has happened? So I had my birthday also in November, beginning of November. And thank you to everybody who sent me messages on Instagram. I was really appreciative of that because I was so low and felt really rubbish. So thank you to everyone that sent me messages. And I had a really, really lovely birthday probably because I've just been ill. And I think when you first go out after being ill, you feel so happy and appreciative of everything. And you're so grateful just to be out. So yeah, I really loved it and had a really good time. Um, and then um, on Sunday night, two nights ago, I went to see Gary Barlow in concert. Now it was not really like a normal concert. It was um, a sort of, I can't even describe it, a, a slight performance, but then mostly talking, him just talking about his life. And it was absolutely amazing. I loved it so, so much. I think you go through all the different emotions. Everyone in the audience went through all these different emotions of laughing and crying and dancing. It was just so, so good. He's such a lovely and amazing human being, so caring and um, humble. And yeah, he's just a really, really, really lovely guy. And I mean, I would never have gone. It was my friend who had the ticket and her sister couldn't go with her. She lives up north and couldn't get down because of the train strike. So she asked me instead and I was amazed and said, yes, of course I will go. Because although it wasn't something that I would have probably brought myself, I was fascinated to see what it would be like. And I loved it so, so good. Yeah, I'm just over, overwhelmed with how amazing he is. His voice was just out of this world, really beautiful. Um, and his story was just very inspiring and very humbling. He's not had the greatest life. And, you know, I suppose like all of us, we've had challenge, he's had challenges. And yeah, it was really, really, really touching. I loved it. I had such a good time. I was on such a high afterwards. And yesterday, my, I think my heart still felt really full just from from experiencing it. So yeah, if you ever get the opportunity to see Gary, then I'd say definitely just go for it because it is brilliant. Um, so yeah, onto my makes, what I made in September and October. So some of them are gonna be slightly summery and not very seasonal appropriate for right now if you're living in the Northern Hemisphere. If you are in the Southern Hemisphere, however, you may be quite happy to see what I've made. So I'm going to talk about this make I've got on now and it's the first one I made and it's actually a free pattern from Peppermint Magazine and it is the play suit and I think it's from In The Folds and it's a kind of fail but not really. So I love the pattern, I think it's a really nice pattern and it's a you know really really uh, lovely make to try, it's free of course, um, the pattern comes together really really quickly. It does have a side zip, which I was shocked at. I didn't expect it to have any closures. I don't know why, but when it came to it, I was like, oh, I didn't realize it had a zip in it. Um, it's got an invisible side zip down the side. 
Um, but generally it's a lovely pattern. Now I think my problem with this is the fabric I used and it was kind of a twirl so it was just me practicing. Um, I've used a viscose but it's a very thin viscose and I, I just found it in my stash and like the colour of it but the fabric is not great. It's not the nicest of fabric. It has stretched out. Again I think it's one of those cases where it tells you to um, overlock the edges before you sew them together and I always find that that way around is not always great when you're using anything like viscose or anything that easily stretches. Definitely sew the seams together first and then overlock in my opinion but anyway it did stretch out quite a lot on one side and not then not the other so it does look a bit odd. I will stand back and show you what it looks like. Um, it's coming up a slightly different colour. It is a deep maroon colour this fabric um but yeah nothing wrong with the pattern i think it's just the fabric i think the, the pattern itself is probably better made in nice um cotton lawn or um, a linen uh, fabric or maybe even just a cotton i think it would work better in my opinion um i'll show you what it looks like so another problem with this fabric is it creases really 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 quickly and so i've just literally been sat down in it and it's creased already which is really bothering me it has pockets on the front which I don't like because they've gone kind of weird and drapey and I don't like that look. It just makes it look weird. I think they're maybe just too low as well on the garment itself. Um, it's meant to be a relaxed fit anyway, but I felt that it's quite tight up here and that could be just because I've got a jumper on with it today or a sweater on with it today. And normally I'd probably just have a t-shirt on with it in the summer. Um, but I think that maybe it could be a little bit more roomy up here and then it's kind of I don't know it's, it's, it looks a bit shapeless I think on me but I'll stand on the steps so you can see I did take off some of the lengths um because I felt that for me I needed it to be a little bit shorter I've just put it on with some black tights um obviously because it is really cold now um yeah I'm just not convinced by I think it's maybe just the fabric. I don't like the fabric maybe. Um, but yeah, it has ties on it, um, which you tie into a knot over the top. Like I say, it's got a side zip down the side. I just think this would be better in a different fabric. But generally, I think in the summer, if this is made in the linen, it would look really sweet. So I think maybe it is just this fabric I'm, I've used. I don't really like, I don't really feel like it's very flattering for me. Um, I feel like big around here. Like I feel like it needs to cinch it in or something. It, may, it needs to be more sh uh, sort of fitted. So I may even, maybe just take it in a little bit so around this area and then make it go out a little. I'm not sure. It definitely needs tweaking in my opinion. Yeah, so... I just think it needs something. I can't work out what it is. I'm definitely gonna try it again, but maybe in a more stable fabric. And as it's a free pattern, um, it's just worth, you know, maybe trying it just to see. Uh, that's why I did it really, it's because it's a free pattern. And I'd already got it printed out. Now I did have a problem with the printing of this. I got it printed by a printers, an A0 version. But then when I came to look at it, I only had one sheet. So yeah. I think there's an issue maybe with the file because when I looked at the file, it, you will you just send one file to the printers. It's not like some of those um, A0 files where there's two or three that you have to make sure you, you've, you've put in. It's just one file and both sheets are on that one file. So I think there may be a problem with the, um, the file itself. So anyway, but that's fine. I just printed it out myself. So I did the version, I did size uh, C, sorry. And it goes through letters, so A, B, C. So C is for a bust of 34, a waist of 28, and a hip of 37, which is exactly my measurements. Um, so I think maybe next time I might go up a little bit or grade between the C and the D. Um, because I think maybe, again, like I said, the top here is a little bit snug and it feels snug across the back. Um, so yeah, I might go up a little bit just so it's a bit more roomier for me um, But generally the pattern comes together really quickly and it's a nice pattern So it's not really a fail It is just that I don't like this particular fabric that I've done it in and I wouldn't put the pockets on If I was going to use a drapey fabric. So if you're using a viscose or 
something similar, I wouldn't bother with the pockets. I even felt like the pockets perhaps should go on the back, not the front. That's just me. But I suppose you could change that. Um, but yeah, so that is the free pattern from Peppermint Magazine. And it's by In The Folds, I think. And if I've got that wrong, I'll put it along the bottom. But I'm going to put the links to all these uh, patterns that I talk about underneath in the description below. So for my second make, I made this also for my holiday in September. And I did wear it on holiday. And I think I showed you this fabric in a very previous vlog, but I can't remember if I said what dress I was going to make in it. I bought this from the market. It was on a whim that I bought this and I wasn't sure about it. Now, I'm also wearing it with the sweater that I just previously had on because it's quite cold. I'm just testing it. <laughs> um, and I'll show you without the sweater as well. But it is the Una dress by Sew Over It. So, as you can see on here in the line drawings, there is two versions, one with elasticated waist and then one that just has a tie around and then it just has little straps for the top. And it's meant to be a really quick and easy make for the summer. You can wear it in the daytime or maybe dress it up for the evening. I think I wore it out in the evening for my holiday um, with my hair up. I think I had my hair up and I had some nice big earrings um, and it looked really nice. But, however, this one, I'm not sure about the fabric. Again, I like the pattern, but I think the fabric choice, I'm not so sure about. I don't know if it suits me that well. Um, yeah, so, but there's also another issue I'll show you in a minute that I feel that maybe is putting me off it slightly. Um, but it can be rectified and also, you know, the next one probably will be fine. But I'll stand back and let you see it first with this sweater on. Okay, so it is um, elasticated around the waist and I chose to put the pockets on which is the one that I got the issue with. I undernarred about putting the pockets on. I didn't really know whether I wanted them. I thought it might actually accentuate the hip area and it has done exactly what I didn't want. I feel like it's made it too rounded here and I feel like, I don't know, I just don't like it. I think it would have been better if it had just been, without the pockets, it would have sat more streamlined down the side but um, it's not a, a, a huge um, skirt on this, it's quite fitted um, and I'll get on the step so you can see it just comes below the knee. I've left it the way that they've kind of designed it and it has a little split here on the side, um, on both sides, which I quite like. But yeah, I'm just not so sure about the pockets, so I can leave those off next time. Okay, so this is it without the sweater. It's obviously is a lot better. It's meant to be for the summer. I know that uh, there's quite a few dress patterns that you can try and make them more wintry by putting a sweater underneath and all that sort of thing, but I'm not sure that it works with this one. I probably wouldn't wear it like that. But this is the um, dress without, and so again, you've got the straps that go around, and it's elasticated. And I'll show you the inside of this afterwards so you can see how this is done. It's actually really quick to make and um, I really enjoyed making it. I'm just not so sure about this fabric. I wasn't sure whether it really fitted my sort of style, if that makes sense. I did wear it with heels. I think it looks better with heels on. So you're kind of up a bit higher because I'm not sure about the length of this on me. Um, but yeah, I wasn't sure that it kind of, yeah, I'm just not so sure about the fabric. So yeah, I think it's just because I'm not used to wearing bright um, colours and big prints. I'm not a big print sort of person. I tend to go with ditzy print more and um, more muted colours, I suppose. So yeah, I, I just maybe because I'm not used to it. I don't know. But I, I did wear it on holiday, like I said, and it looked lovely. And I felt nice in it. So it could just be that it was it's meant for more summery climate. And... Like I say, it's not very seasonal appropriate right now, uh, but maybe you could think, you know, if you liked this sort of style next year, you may want to buy it and make one. So I made a size uh, 10 on the top, the bust area and down on the bodice. And then I graded out to a 12 around the hip area because I was concerned that 
um, sitting down in this would be too tight. Obviously my derriere is the, the biggest part of me and um, I just feared that I would be too tight and sort of not be able to walk. Um, but it's actually fine and I'm glad I did go with the 12. I just wish I'd not bothered with these pockets. Um, they're really bugging me. I'm just keep thinking, can I cut them off somehow and then stitch up the sides without, without making too much of a mess of it? But anyway, um, yes. And then I did cut off, I think about four and a half inches off the length of the skirt. And then I cut off at, um, about 10 centimeters. Um, so that roughly is, uh, I'm not sure, 10 centimeters, just under four inches from the straps so they were quite long for me I had to take them up quite a lot to get them to sit where I wanted them um, I used one and three quarter meters of fabric for this so it doesn't take up very much fabric I am only five foot two so that's why um, I, I do reduce the amount of fabric that I need for that um, yeah and I mean on my notes all I've got is don't like the pockets <laughs> so <laughs> I wouldn't bother with the pockets. I really don't think they're necessary in this style of dress. Um, and this is a viscose as well, by the way. So just in case you didn't see the previous vlog, this is a viscose fabric. And I do think it really works nicely in the viscose. I prefer viscose. I prefer wearing viscose as opposed to cotton. I'm not great in cotton. I find that I get really, really hot in cotton quite easily. So I prefer viscose, but yeah. So I've made version one as well with the elasticated waist. Um, and that's about it really for this. There's nothing else apart from the fact that you use um, a one centimeter wide elastic around the waist. Um, you could use a thinner one if you wanted to make it look a little bit more, um, you know, like a little, maybe a little bit nicer around the middle. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure whether I would or not. I don't mind the thick, the thick elastic. Um, but yeah, it is a really nice pattern. I really do like the dress. I wanted to buy it as soon as it came out, but just this fabric, I think. Let me know what you think, whether you think this is a nice fabric, does it suit me? Um, I just know what it is. I can't put my finger on what it is. I'm not, con I'm not convinced with. So yeah, okay, so this is the inside of the dress. So you have a channel that you create and stitch on separately. Uh, which I've never done before, but I actually found that not too bad and quite easy to do the way that the instructions tell you to do it. Um, and it just means that you've got a nice enclosed um, channel for your elastic, which I thought was quite good. And then you have a little facing for the front, which does have a tendency of flipping out. I think it could be a slightly bigger in my opinion. Um, I might make that a little bit lower next time. And again, the back. Um, I haven't bothered putting a label in this one. I think I just wanted to get it made really, really super quickly for my holiday. There's the uh, the evil pockets, which I might just chop off and just sitch up the side. I don't know. I'm gonna I'll have a look, see if I can manage to do that without making it look too awful. But yeah, so there it is, the inside. And um, you know, like I said, it's a really, really lovely pattern. I will do it again. So for my next make is what I'm wearing now. Now I really wanted something simple to make. Um, after my COVID illness, I was really struggling with my fatigue and not feeling very energetic at all. So I just wanted something that I didn't have to think about and a pattern that I'd already made. So I have made this before, but I didn't like the first version. I think the fabric I used was again, an overly, um, an overly printed pattern on it. And I didn't really particularly like it. It didn't look well that great on me. Anyway, I just rummaged through my stash, found this fabric, which is a very lightweight, um, I don't even know what you'd call it, it's very lightweight. Anyway, it's silky and nice and soft and drapey, which is perfect for this pattern. And I really like the colour. It's probably more summery, but I just wanted to make something simple. And it is a simple sew pattern. And I think it's called the Juliet Blouse. Um, it's a really old pattern now, probably been out a few years, but I really like it and it's very simple. I'll stand back and let you see it. Just got it on with some jeans and like I say, it's a very simple pattern. It has a little tie on it, which you can cinch it in. If you take the tie, you'll see that it is very much a basic pattern. It's very much um, a boxy shape. The sleeve and the bodice is all in one. So it's very simple. You're just cutting out the front and the back is exactly the same. You put in your ties. You can tie this around the back if you wish to. So you can make yourself a little 
um, bow at the back, which I think also is quite cute. Um, and you kind of almost have like a little ruffle area here, which looks nice, I think, in drapey fabric. And it just cinches it in a little bit and makes it look nice. But I do actually prefer, I think, tying it around the front for me. Um, so I tie it around the back first, then um, around the front, and then just tie it into a little bow here at the front. I quite like it. It's very simple. I thought it would be nice for going out in the evening to maybe the cinema or out for a, um, a casual meal, um, maybe to the pub. But yeah, I really like it and I'm glad I made it so I can wear it. Again, it just has a little um, ruche. You can probably see I've got threads, threads sticking out here. I still haven't sorted out my threads, which I will do. So yes, yeah, so this is very simple, uh, easy to make. The only difficulties I had were the neckline. It is meant to be a, a boat neckline. Um, it, it could be wider in my opinion. I think that maybe it could just be taken out just a fraction more. Um, I may do that in the next time I do it. But I also found that this could be quite difficult to sew. So it is a beginner pattern, but I find that this, this area here is a real struggle to get in, to sit flat. Um, quite difficult to sew, it tends to pucker up quite a lot. So I've had to really go in there with the um, scissors and try and cut into the seam allowance as close to this part as possible to just to get it to sit because it just wasn't sitting. Um, and I've had to, to remove my understitching from this area here on both sides, the back and the front on both sides, just so it sits a little bit better. And then also the facing wants to flip out. So you can see the facing here now you've got that on the front and the back i've had to um put in some very tiny tiny single stitches on the back facing around here and you can't really see them at all you know no one else would know they're there but it's just literally to keep that facing down on the back it's it's worked perfectly because it doesn't flip out on the front either even though you can stitch it on the side seams here it just kept flipping out and driving me nuts so that's also another thing, um, but generally, apart from that, I've made no alterations apart from shortening the sleeves. I thought the sleeves for me were just a little bit too long. I think they're meant to sit a little bit lower down, but for me, the style of this, it just didn't suit, so I've just cut them shorter, so they're above my elbows. And the length I've left the same as the pattern, I haven't changed that. Um, so yeah, again, I wanted something quick and easy to make, just so that I could get something made. Um, after feeling a little bit ill um, but yeah it's a very simple pattern great for beginners just bear in mind those little issues with the neck take your time with that neck I think with your sewing machine just go around slowly I made the extra small and there's nothing else to say about this <laughs> see I made the extra small fits me and I like it so that's it so for the other make that I made in September for my holiday was a beach cover-up if you've seen any of my other previous vlogs, I have made another beach cover-up before. I think it was for my June holiday. And I didn't really like it that much. I did take it and wear it on holiday because I needed it. Um, but it wasn't really um, my style. It was a strange shape and I just didn't really think it suited me. So I have opted to buy the Elia Mac beach cover-up. So this one I loved and thought it was fantastic. Again, I just went, uh, raided my stash before I went on holiday, found this fabric, which is, I thought was very summery coloured. It's a sort of turquoise colour with little flowers on it. You can see, oh no, it's not flowers, is it? It's, um, it's that specific shape. I don't know what you call that specific shape. It's usually on paisley um, fabric. I don't know what that shape is called. It might have a name, but I'm not sure. I just thought it's quick to make and um, the fabric doesn't crease so it's perfect for what I need. I wanted something that's going to wash easily and doesn't crease and this does the job. So you will have basically almost a rectangle of fabric which has a little strap across the back here which is actually really nice and quite flattering. It's quite low on the back and then the front again is a little V um, and then the sides is pretty much um, I'll hold it back. It's just a rectangle and all you do is stitching down the side really kind of to a point and you can stitch all the way to the bottom if you want to or you can do what this one I've done is I've left the hole for the arm and then 
I've actually only stitched a little bit so you get like a little sort of opening at the side which was actually perfect on really hot days um, it was brilliant because I felt really cool in it it was really breezy and nice to wear so yeah I really love it I really like this and it's a really good pattern so at the moment Ellie and Mac have probably got a sale on they always do um, so it's probably a really uh, reasonable price at the moment probably about three dollars or something if you fancied that for next year maybe grab it because it's so easy and quick to make the only issue I had with this is again the facing uh, wasn't sitting quite right it wanted to flip out a lot you're only really sort of stitching it in at the shoulder seams and then there's nothing here to kind of keep it pinned in so what I've actually done is I've top stitched all the way around the whole of the neckline to try and create almost like um yeah you can't really see it on there can you but basically I've just top stitched all the way around no you can't really see it um but then again that's the beauty of it you can't really see it it's just to basically hold that in so it doesn't flip out and it worked perfectly it's not something you really want to have to worry about on holiday when you're in beach wear so I just slipped this on when I was going to the to the pool um and it was brilliant so that was again I think the sizing for that comes in two categories I can't remember but I did the smallest size basically pattern's really easy to just print out yourself it's not too much of a hassle so that is my other make and so on to the next thing that I made now this was kind of um, a little project I set myself I bought a blanket from Primark and I wanted to make a jumper out of it as a test really just to see if I could get it to work and um, when I got to cutting the fabric out um, I found that I didn't really have enough fabric to the pattern I wanted to make now the pattern I wanted to make was a simplicity pattern and I'll put the number across the bottom because I can't remember what it is but I've made one before and it is a lot longer and it has a hood and etc and I just didn't have enough fabric which I didn't think I would to be honest and I wanted to go back to the shop to buy another blanket because it would have still been quite reasonable, £10 for the item. But they didn't have any left because they get through stuff so quickly in that uh, store. They sell stuff so quickly and then they just don't get it in again. So um, I chose to make the toaster sweater. When I've made this sweater so many times, I love it so much. And when I took the blanket out, I did notice it has actually got some stretch in it, this blanket. So it's um, unusual because this kind of style doesn't normally have any stretch, but it did. So it worked out perfect for making the toaster sweater. I did version, can't remember if it's version one or version two, but it's the one where you've got the funnel neck and you have the cuffs and then you have a band on the bottom. So for me, I find that this is just slightly short. Now I made it just straight out of the packet. I have made it before and I've never really noticed it being short before. So maybe I've had a growth spurt, I don't know. <laughs> so um, I would make it a lot longer next time. Maybe just add an extra inch to it to make it sit a little bit lower for me. And I also found with this pattern, um, not, this, not the pattern so much, sorry, it's the fabric. So if you're gonna do this kind of thing, I think it's worth knowing that once you've put the stitching in there's not much chance of that ever coming out ever again so try and avoid all all mistakes at all costs if you can luckily i did decide to do a small which normally i would have done the extra small but i just thought no, i'll make a small make it a little bit bigger a bit roomier for me make it more cuddly and snuggly um and then when it came to making it it could be that i you know, was still in my COVID brain, I just stupidly stitched the front bodice side seams together and the back bodice side seams together as if I was doing the sleeves. I got completely confused. I took off my markers. I normally put stickers on my front and back so I know which is the front and the back and then I think I just removed them really stupidly. So I was looking at it thinking, why has my body's gone weird? It's kind of gone going in at the bottom. That's not right. Doesn't look doesn't look big enough now. What's happened? And then obviously I realised I'd stitched the front bodice seams together and the back bodice seams together. So I thought that the what was ending up being the sleeves that that was meant to be fitting me. So of course 
there's no way I would have been able to take that stitching out. I had to cut the stitching off. So just cut all the way down as close to the stitching line as I could and then redo it by just doing the sleeve. So luckily I'd made the small so it still has a bit more room in it and it still fits me. So it's just worth maybe bearing in mind you may not make something uh, as a silly as a mistake as what I did but it's always good to know that perhaps maybe give yourself some extra room just in case you do need to cut any off and do it again because yeah um, that's what happened. So it's fine it fits me I'll stand back and let you look at it. So again I've just got it on with some jeans and you will see I may think it comes up a little bit short you might think it looks okay but for me can't really see that very well but I think I would like it just to sit just a little bit lower I don't know why but I just feel like it would be a little bit better I just feel that maybe it's making my stomach stick out a bit more um I don't know I just think it would look better just slightly longer a little bit lower here um uh, but yeah generally it is absolutely snuggly and so warm I love it a bit I think it's so so comfortable but yeah, I am really happy with this. And considering it was just a blanket that I bought from Primark for five pound, it's a really bargainous little jumper. It may not last very long. It may start to look a bit shabby soon. I'm not sure how long this is gonna last um, as it's not very, you know, fabulous fabric. But if you are on a budget, you are struggling with money right now and you want something snugly to wear. And I mean, you know, Grab yourself a blanket from some a store that's got some really nice um, inexpensive blankets. You can give it a go, in my opinion. Um, like I say, this one has stretch. If it doesn't have any stretch, then maybe go up a size just so you've got extra room to get it off and on because the neck area might be a bit of a struggle. But luckily, this has got quite a bit of stretch in it. I'm really pleased about it. And I love it. I really love it. I've worn it so much. It's, it is probably starting to wear already because I've worn it so much. It was absolutely brilliant for when I was feeling rough. Um, just being able to snuggle up on the sofa with this was great. So, and now the next thing that I have made, and this is the final one. It's getting quite long now, this vlog. I'm get through this as quick as possible. So the next thing I've made was the mittens now you may have seen the first mitten i think i did show you the first mitten when i made it i have now made the second mitten and it is a fingerless mitten pattern that i found free on youtube um i think you can get the pattern from ravelry um and i love them they are so snugly warm when the when it gets cold here in the house and we don't want to put the heating on just yet. We're trying to squeeze out as much of the day out as possible without putting the heat on. These are fabulous because I can still um, do my sewing and things with them on. And they're really quite long as well. Now, if you've seen the previous vlog, you'll notice that I had a real struggle with this pattern. Um, the magic loop on the circular needles, I could just not fathom at all. My brain just would not absorb this info. <laughs> um, but I have it down now. I have got it down and I am knitting some more. I'll probably forget it as soon as I stop doing it. I will forget this because that's my brain. That's the way my brain works. As soon as I stop using it, I just it just goes. My brain just doesn't keep information in. It must be thinking that it's got to eliminate it for more interesting things such as sewing. So, I don't know. Anyway, I love them. I'm making some more. I managed to get my pattern to match as well, the, the, um, the yarn. I had to kind of get to a point with my yarn and use it for something else so that I could get to the point where was, they were matching. They kind of do match. Not quite, but, you know, they're fine. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to make some more. And... They are super snuggly. I love them. Um, I did have a lady, I think, message me and say that about the using the double pointed needles. That scares me even more than the circular needles. <laughs> so I will link the vlog down that I found how to learn the magic loop. Um, there's vlogs out there. I think that just some sometimes are just easier to follow. 
the specific one that the pattern is from I find it really to hard to follow and I think it's because the lady's knitting in a European style way which is unfamiliar to me and I, I just can't fathom it at all so I'll put the link down for the other one that I used if you did want to try and give this a pattern a go maybe make a little batch of mittens to give as gifts for people for Christmas because that's what everyone's getting from me to be fair <laughs> So everybody's going to get some mittens. So that's all I've made uh, for September and October. I'm going to be back soon with um, another um, item or garments that I've made in October. But I wanted to put it in a separate vlog, partly because this one would be too long. But also they are drying on the era because they've just been washed. And also it's a Minerva project. So I just thought I would do a separate vlog for that specifically for that particular project that I did for Minerva um, and then hopefully I'll get another one out for you as to what I'm making in November and I know we're already towards the end of November but I'm gonna put it out anyway and yeah so that's it for today I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've made and do let me know in the comments below what you think of any of them and I don't always mention that I do have a Kofi page and I'll put the link down below if you did want to uh, help me out, um, any money that's given will always go back into the channel. It would help me out hugely. And that's all I've got to chat about today. I hope you have a really amazing week and you're all getting some lovely sewing done. I look forward to hearing about what you've been doing and if you are sewing anything nice up. And yeah, have a fabulous week, everybody. And as always, sending you all loads of love. Bye.